short recording here. Uh, Captain's log start date. Here it is. I uh, don't need that. I don't need that. This comes about because of many questions and confusionations that arise from these various things here. Change advanced power settings. All right, advanced meaning it goes a step further. Why would I want to change settings that are currently unavailable? So I click on this and then it says balanced active high performance power save saver. <laughs> I almost said power savior. Uh, also, there are inconsistencies that I've noticed in uh, Windows Dumb, and I'm not going to spell that the way that one might be inclined to, uh, but one would think that if I cancel this, any preceding entries that I made would cease to exist in a way that it will be explained in just a moment. MT he quote unquote. So in other words, I click cancel, that means it uh, reverses out anything that I may have mucked up. See, now it's back again. This doesn't make any sense, even to someone like myself who has built fairly high-end computers now for many years. It's not so much because of the technic, uh, the technicity, is that a word? It's because of the relative lack of understanding of the person or persons or team writing this material and being able to, to spotlight or target exactly what's being talked about. The relationship between the textual content uh, and the, uh, the intended presumable changes made therefrom. Hope that made sense. In other words, you, you read this, you understand exactly what is being offered you to do and where you need to do it. When I say where, it's really a function of what we call what, which, where, when, why. Uh, what, which, where, when, why, who, when, why. <laughs> Tripping myself up there. Put an egg on my face. That's what's known as W6H, because the H is after an equal sign that appears at the end of what, which, where, who, when, why equals how. And it's been said off times that if one is really looking to get down to the bottom of things, any things, if you can't ask that question and have a reasonably intelligent answer delivered directly to you in words that you can understand and from a, uh, a framework that is similar to the, what we'll call it a transmitting framework to a receiving framework or source point to receipt point or duplication of meaning as it's referred to in certain circles which we, we won't go into. Uh, if that's done, the what, which, where, who, when, and why, now we can actually get somewhere. But here we're not we're, we're not agreeing on terms and there isn't any ma matrix that can allow us the luxury of basking in the agreement on these terms so that we can then forget about that and get on with the issue at hand which is I've got myself a couple pigs here and I want to trade a couple cows there. Oh, wait a minute. Pigs are smaller than cows, so I got two pigs, so maybe you, you're saying to me you want to trade one cow for my two pigs. And we can agree. All right, enough of that. This just doesn't make sense. I, I realize that's pretty out there, what I'm saying. Hopefully it's trackable. If not, I would suggest reading the works of R.D. Lang, particularly uh, a book called Knots and even more particularly uh, a, a an essay that stretches across approximately I don't even remember 10 15 30 pages about Jack and Jill Jack thinks that Jill is thinking that Jack's thinking about Jill's thinking whereupon Jack proceeds to think further about Jill's thinking about Jack and what he might be thinking and this goes on and on and on for 30 pages it's a challenge I challenge you uh, challenge you to find it, read it, and follow it. I managed to get about two pages into it before my uh, synapses threatened to explode on me. Alright, here we go. So it doesn't make any sense. 
So presumably going back, circling back, cancel means no matter what I might have done here to really mess things up. I mean, we're talking about to, you know, cause major, major flucation. Uh, it's now reversed. Bam. It's gone forever. MT and E. So this is, this is what prompted the questions. And I won't go any further into that because it's getting long enough. So I'm going to just scan this page a panel at a time whereupon the video could be stopped in the event that it might there might be a desire to read this entire thing to see what I'm talking about. Some of the languaging here is pretty good. Tip of the hat. And some of it though gets a little murky in spots and I will cover that in my comments. As mentioned we can just pause the video and read the page so I won't leave it up long. Pause, 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 pause. Everywhere pause. Get these cats out of here. Oops. Now imagine, <laughs> if you will, I would do a Rod Serling, but I'm trying to keep from doing too much riffing in this rant. And imagine, if you will, Uncle Howard and uh, Aunt Louise, who just bought their first computer, and they're, oh, I don't know, somewhere between 68 and 75 years old, and they're sitting down to try to understand the inner workings of the computer. And they run into this. And this is one page in thousands. Thousands! Did I leave this up here long enough? Alright, so I wrote this. Notice, this is one of my my pet peeves, and it is absolutely ginormous. Don't give me two lines of text to write in here, implying that, well, more than implying, more or less uh, subverting any in inclination that I have to make sense and to try to go down the rabbit hole and make any kind of improvement or a communication that could be received to any value. This is going to basically inspire people not at all. Well, I, I don't usually bother with that. <laughs> I put it in anyway. And I've received precious little response to these things. But this is what it says. And you can pause it here. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about typos. So we can unpause. The point is that when one is writing in this little tiny venue here, you can't really see what you've written. And hopefully, well, I'll put it this way. Nobody looks wants to look like an a-hole, do they? Really, do they? I don't think so. So you have to go back and then try to navigate through this thing here Excited or effective? Wait a minute, you can't... Okay, in order to do that, I have to put the cursor there and then use the... Okay, in addition to A... Okay, where am I here? A... Oh, wait a minute, I'll get it, I'll get it. A... Here we go, so-called veil native... A. Look at all of this extra work that I have to go through. And all of the mechanical brasmataz all the while losing any kind of creativity or any uh, depth of meaning that I may want to make sure that I've conveyed, which of course is the justification for doing the work at all. So little tiny strips to pour out your heart or something that you really feel might be helpful. It's idiotic. It's everywhere. I mean, you've seen it. One line, <laughs> right? It screams at you. We don't want to hear your feedback, but we have to put this here because Bill Gates told us to. Well, here it is. This is what was said. And that's the end of this rant. Just remember, folks, 
this is one of thousands of these kinds of things and if you've ever gone down the rabbit hole oh even a matter of one degree of uh, let's say longitude on the old globe globe blo <laughs> globe of fire here uh, you will have seen in the discussion groups and forums people shrieking not always sometimes they're just folding up they're just caving in and saying oh poor me why are you doing this to me I, I don't know what I'm doing I think I'll go and drink myself to death now and some of them are uh, they're yelling their fool heads off thousands you know read my list uh, did I did I say thousands that's it for now Bella Doberman as soon as I get back to this page on zero five four three two Bella Doberman out zero